Hello everyone, welcome to another um, episode in our AZ500 exam study series. Now, today we will be discussing about the passwordless authentication. So, passwordless authentication is still part of the managing secure access in your um, secure access using Azure AD. Right, so let's now go to our next um, slide to further discuss passwordless authentication. Okay, so, so what is passwordless authentication? So it's, it's very straightforward. It's signing in without password. So that's the, the very um, simplest way of explaining that. It's actually the password is being replaced by something you have. Something you are and or something you know. So something you are or and this one is and. So you you need to always have the the username or the device you're logging into and it ha will be combined with something you are which is typically a biometric factor that could be your fingerprint so fingerprint oh sorry that you, could be your face using facial recognition and something you know that could be a pin number so that's how Microsoft have set up this passwordless authentication now let's go to the what are the benefits of this like I mean, why do they do this? Is it just, is it, is it like a weakening of your security stature in, in Azure? So wh why did they do this? What are the benefits? So Microsoft stated that this increased security. So that's a bit, you're going to get confused because they removed password but still increased security. Their explanation with that is by using this passwordless authentication, it reduces the risk of phishing. Um, phishing, you know, not not the phishing, but phishing, and password spray attacks. So password spray attacks is like when a hacker it tries to to brute force. It's like it's more of a brute force attack that they generate. Um, this random password and try to um, authenticate in your organization using those passwords like it's like spray and pray and if they hit one correct password then they're in to your system um, so that's that's like um, removing a an attack surface which is the password a user passwords which is an attack surface so surface so by removing that they actually or you will actually increase the security in your organization another benefit is that the better user experience so this is pretty self-explanatory of course you don't have to um, memorize passwords which is very convenient to, to the users um, and then you will still be able to access your applications like Outlook, OneDrive or Office. Um, it also provides insights so you can monitor um, insights there you go so you can monitor into um, you mean the, the user passwordless activity within Azure portal. So those are the three main benefits of having passwordless authentication. You might get asked that in, in the exam, like what are the benefits of um, implementing passwordless authentication? You have those three benefits. Now let's now look into the different authentication methods that uses 
passwordless authentication. All right, so these are there are actually three main authentication methods that we can use. But recently, Microsoft added some preview features or preview authentication methods. But don't worry about it because the AZ500 exam does not include preview, preview features. Um, just to mention it here, these are the, um, the FIDO2 smart cards, the uh, temporary access cards, temporary access cards, and then this certificate base access so those those three are still in preview so don't worry about them we will be concentrating on these three main authentication methods for password passwordless authentication now the first thing we have here i think you're very familiar with this is the windows hello windows hello authentication so if you've seen windows hello before it uses two factors which is a biometric technically it's your face they use um, facial recognition on um, Windows Hello supported devices so this only supports um, computers with infrared cameras and they should actually um, they can activate it within the Windows setting the other factor they use is the pin so if you are computer is not um, or it doesn't have an infrared camera you can use the pin window uh, windows hello pin so that's with windows hello the uh, then uh, let me just put one there win hello windows hello the next one is the fido card i think this is fido one. Oh, sorry that's fido two that's one has been replaced by Fidoto which is more modern um, security key. So Fidoto Fido2 is actually a a key. It's a physical USB key which um, which generally stores your authenticate or it actually allows you to authenticate using that key without entering your password. So as you could see here in this um, in the screen um, picture here I just got from Google so when you sign in you can technically select that um, key login like you know the icon it's like a USB icon there and then once you select that you will just be um, prompted with your username or email and then with your pin so that's another passwordless authentication it allows you to use a pin so that's definitely shorter than a password. So the next one is the Microsoft Authenticator app. MS Authenticator app. Right, so important note here is don't be confused with MFA and M Microsoft Authenticator app. For passwordless authentication, it's not MFA, but it's the M Microsoft Authenticator app. They usually it is actually set up by number matching. So number matching. So with MFA, in um, they do like when you log in, you enter a password, and then you will be prompted to approve that um, that authentication. But with passwordless authentication using Authenticator app, you will be matching the numbers that is displayed on your this one Microsoft login screen to the one that is displayed in your Authenticator app. So don't be confused with that one. Those two are different. Right. So let's now go to the Azure portal and let's see how we can enable these authentication methods for passwordless authentication. Okay, we're now here in our 
Azure portal. So to in order to enable password desk authentication methods, you have to go Active Directory. And on the left side, open the security blade. And under Manage, you will see authentication methods. Right, so as I said earlier, MFA and the authentication method for Authenticator app using Oh, we're using the app is different. So they are actually in a different blade. Now click on authentication methods. It is pretty straightforward. Under manage and policies, you will have these methods listed. And also they actually have here preview features or preview methods that you can actually start using. But let's actually focus on these two as they are the two main um, passwordless authentication methods. Now if we go and feed out two keys, it's very straightforward. Just click yes on that and you will be able to configure additional settings with FIDO2. So you can allow or disallow self-service setup. You can enforce attestation and restrictions. So usually you would just leave that by default and under targets here you can by default it's set to all users it's an organization wide settings by the way um it if you save this now if you save this now it will apply to the whole active directory tenant that you are in but you can always select a user or a user group to just apply this um, authentication method now going back to to the list we have the Microsoft Authenticator. I believe this is the most popular passwordless authentication methods that been used by a lot of organizations. The settings is pretty straightforward. Forward, you just enable it and then you select the user or the user group. So you can set it for all users and for user group. And by the way, for the exam, if this comes up in the lab questions, don't forget to save your configuration. Okay, so that's passwordless authentication for AZ500. It's pretty straightforward um, topic. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.